sometimes there's a game out there that makes waves and inspires countless indie devs to go and make their own take on the genre. Mega Man inspired Shovel Knight, Zelda inspired Binding of Isaac, Star Fox inspired Whisker Squadron. Inspiration can lead to amazing things when a team puts their own spin on a beloved title. Cuphead was an indie giant that took the world by storm with its run and gun gameplay, inspired by the animation of old. And in 2019, Zizo, Zixo, XIXO Game Studio announced their own title inspired by Cuphead, Enchanted Portals. While it was initially panned for being a Cuphead knockoff and for its animation quality, I wanted to give it a fair shake. Animation's difficult, and the team behind Enchanted Portals probably didn't have the time or resources required to make Cuphead tier art, and that's fine by me. I even like that they were inspired by its gameplay. More games like Cuphead can't be a bad thing, right? Especially if they put their own unique spin on it, right? Well, in 2020, the team at XIXO opened a Kickstarter campaign to obtain funding for Enchanted Portals, which um, sadly didn't get the support it needed. Despite that, they managed to complete the game three years later, launching on PC, PS5, and Xbox in September 2023, and Nintendo Switch in November of 2023. After launch, YouTube was flooded with reviewers stating that this game was the worst of the worst, complaining about the stiff controls, poor animation quality, lack of sound design, tacked on mechanics, and janky procedurally generated levels. Despite this, I still really wanted to try this out. I wanted to see if these reviewers were just exaggerating for clickbait, or if it really was that bad. First thing I noticed is where it differs from Cuphead mechanically. There's no parry, which felt like the bread of butter what made Cuphead good. It let you balance risk and reward, tying into the game's themes of gambling. It's like if someone made their own unique take on platforming, but didn't include a jump button. Enchanted Portals does include some new mechanics by, um, by having a melee attack and three bullet types that still don't make sense to me. Yeah, everything those other reviewers said was right. Controls are stiff, sound design is non-existent, mechanics don't make sense, and those procedurally generated levels, they still feel like a slog. Supposedly the best parts are at the end of the game, but I never made it past World 2 because this happened. Am, am I stuck? Do I have to destroy some sort of control panel? Oh, maybe a green bullet because the lasers are green? What if I... Wait. Did, did I just destroy the laser fence with a melee attack? I'm done. I'm done. This isn't even worth it. Goodbye. I'm done. Nope. No, no. I, I hate.